Before we get back to some plays from last week, just talk about your team and they gave themselves some opportunities, didn't finish things off, but they fought throughout the entire game. Yeah, we, we knew we were going to face a, a really good football team, and, and we did. We gave ourselves some opportunities, uh, especially on offense. You know, we, we had a chance to score some points, and, and we didn't, and that would have made the game closer, and then you never know. Uh, and then on defense, there were a lot of really good plays, but we did give up too many big plays that created the score that uh, didn't go in our way. Coach, we're going to start with how important – a return game can be to starting a drive for you? There's no question. And our special teams have really made a positive contribution the whole year. And, and really what they're charged with doing when they go on the field is they're controlling or enhancing our vertical field position. And so the return part of the special teams is so important. And you'll see here we had a dynamic return here. Uh, and, and really what we did is we set it up as, you know, we kind of doubled number four. So as we count, obviously you got one, two, three, four. So we had a double on four as we go through. We doubled on three and then we ran a right return here, which we, we'll get a chance to see. But what you notice here, and a lot of times there's a lot of penalties on special teams plays. The blocks were executed extremely well. We created a great uh, crease. And then, and then Ballantyne did an excellent job of running through there. So. It was really well designed uh, by T-Mac and the guys, and, and you'll notice here as, as we go through it, um, as I play this and then pause it, as we retreat, you'll notice that we're going to create a double team and we're going to create another double team. We're going to block number one and try to hit a crease right through here. And so as you watch it happen from this view, you can see some really good blocks. So we get a double team here on number four. All right, we get a double team right here, and then we come, and then we get a double team on number three. All right, number one is forcing the kick, and that's who Penny blocks. And then you'll notice Rhett, who's sort of the, the extra returner back there, then comes through and blocks the safety. And you can see we've got great leverage on all the other blocks as well. Sean Chandler gets his block. Josiah gets his block. We've got a seal on the backside, and there's just a nice crease for, for Ballantyne to run through. He's done an excellent job with the return game. He's obviously a guy that's going to have a really bright future. He's extremely tough. And when we get the ball out at the 50-yard line, that gives us an opportunity to score. Coach, right at the top of the screen, you had a guy who could potentially have gotten that call back, and he throws his hands up and does not commit the foul right there. His decision here not to kind of put a kill shot on him really was significant, and it was really smart on Stupar's part. All right, so that kickoff return by Corey Ballantyne had helped set up the touchdown in the ball game. Just take us through this pass play right. uh, to Darius Slate and his second play of over 30 yards this year. Well, it's, it's, it's similar to the, the play that we threw to Ingram for a touchdown. So basically what we did here is we had a play-action fake away, and that's Penny in there who was filling in, obviously, for Gallman. All right, so we got a nine route here. We got a flat element here, and you can see how that controls – the corner, in this case, Harrison Smith. Now we're trying to throw the crossing route here to Golden Tate. And then we're running a post behind it so that if Golden Tate's covered and then the safety squeezes the crossing route, then Dan's got a one-on-one -on -one to Slayton. And so progression-wise, really, there it is again. One, there's a 1A, there's one, two to the crosser, three to the post, and because of the contour here, he went outside, looks more like a go route and then four to the back. And so as it plays out, once again, it's good quarterback play. Um, you'll notice the routes, the protection is excellent. The play action fake helps hold the linebacker. You'll see we get, uh, in this case here, Kendricks to step up. All right, we're trying to hit the crossing route when this is all taken away. All right, since Barr is in the throwing lane and then the middle safety squeezes the crosser, that assures us of a one-on-one -on -one down the field. And then this was just a really good throw and a really good catch, and it became the touchdown in the game. So that's a little bit about what Slayton can do. Daniel made a great throw and ended up being a score. And Slayton went against one of the league's top cornerbacks on that play as well. Exactly. To beat Xavier Rhodes on any type of route is really good, and 
I, I really feel like Slayton's making making a good push here. You know, he's a young player that's getting better each week. All right, so it doesn't get any easier this week. Stephon Gilmore, the veteran Jason McCourty. You got Devin McCourty, Patrick Chung, and it feels like 18,000 other defensive backs. Sure. Talk about the challenges of this defense against your squad this week, considering the fact that you're also shorthanded. Yeah, well, they're, they're a defense that has all the elements of what makes for a great defense. Uh, they're very sturdy against the run. Uh, they're excellent in coverage when they choose to go one-on-one. -on -one. They play their zones in a very disciplined way. And then when they choose to create pressure, they can do it with four rushers or obviously they, we all know that Bill likes to bring pressure. So it's going to be a challenge for us, but we're looking forward to the opportunity and we'll be up there getting after it. Hey, Giants fans. Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.